How's it going, everybody? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Indie Game Maker Contest 2017 entry for an RPG Maker MVP First Impression game. This is called Card Master Island or Island or Island. I'm not sure, but it looks pretty flashy. I'm going to hit an F5 real quick because I want to show you there's some flash screens that happen really quick and I want to see them again myself. So, F5. And we got Solar Fun Games, a family friendly studio. We got Barley's Quest. I didn't press anything. It just goes by that really quickly. I kind of like that. You know what? I appreciate that. It's kind of hard. You didn't get a chance to see it. But if you were going to load this game several times, you're going to see what it is. So I, I like that kind of branding in there. It's just a quick little one second branding. Let's jump into a new story. I probably should have pressed up or down. The ki Okay, I'll auto run. The Kingdom of King Augusta Default Fond, once known as the Warriors, which is Kingdom where the auto run is too fast, burning in ashes. Wow. What even happened right there? I don't even know. The Dragon Lord eradicated all living things and destroyed everything that is. Do you expect people to read this surrounding countries and pillage and massacred by the hand of I have a question. F5 real quick. Do we have a sync monitor FPS plugin on this one? Let me see if there's an options. Remember, here's options. No sync monitor FPS. So we're running at 144 uh, frames per second. This is something that you guys need to keep uh, in mind when you're using MV. If somebody's running the game with 144 hertz monitor, then their game is going to be forcibly ran at 144 frames per second. It's a bug in the engine. I don't understand why, but there's a way you can get around it. Get Yanfly's FPS uh, monitor sync plugin or sync monitor FPS. I think that's what it's called, plugin. And add that in there and default that to on. People with a 144 plus hertz monitor will be uh, synced to 60 FPS. So the game will not run at 2.4 times speed, making everything super hard, throwing off all of your time to auto run. So it's going to mess up my impressions, but I'm going to try to play it anyway. We'll turn off uh, always dash because we're running twice as 2.4 times. Command remember we'll turn that on. So unfortunately we have no... Uh, sync monitor FPS so everything's 144 so I'm gonna have to go 2.4 times as fast once another world's richest kingdom where most people live prosperously burning to ashes all auto run unfortunately it wouldn't matter as much if you made this wait for a key press the dragon lord eradicated all living things and destroyed everything in his path leaving only ashes and destruction surrounding countries are pillaged and massacred by hordes of ab abominable creatures one day a stranger came to King Salazar's castle where he introduced himself as a card master his name was Aelind Fair enough. So, you say that you can save us all from these creatures? Now we have a wait for our button. And how do you intend to do this? Uh, all the artwork, why go with the default font? Battle cards? To prove you are worthy of completing such tasks, I will ask, I will have to challenge you. I want you to head in our castle's basement. It seems like some evil creatures are lurking in the shadows and are attacking my guards. If you should defeat them all, only then will I trust you. If you ever fail, then you will be imprisoned in the dungeon. I don't think that's how you spell imprisoned, is it? Feel free to wander around the village to buy everything you need. So our UI is basically a card. What if we press escape? Okay, item. Skills. Surprisingly default as, as you know, as customized of a system they put into it. I mean... You're still going with a lot of default stuff, but this is has been changed up a lot. And also keep it in mind, it's a 30-day competition, so you, you got to do everything in 30 days. You, you are the card master, right? Very well, then let me ask you a few questions to see if you're true strength. And what do you believe most? Protecting people. What element is the strongest? You know, I don't know, but it's probably going to ask me what do I want to pick. Hopefully, if I pick light, I'll get a healing spill, uh, skill. Light, Ed, and you might like this. You received Shambhala card. Finally, what is Solar Fun Game Studios Hero's name? I don't know. Um, Barlag? I don't know. You're right! You know, I went with my, um, what was it? I, something I learned when I was taking my SATs. If you're not sure, just go with the third choice. You are right. It must mean that you are indeed a strong man. You, it might be different now. This was a long time ago, kids. Barlag card. Hope this is going to help you on your quest. Welcome to Harlequin's Blacksmith. How may I help you, Traveler? We don't have any money, but we can buy some gear. That's cool. I also like the artwork you're putting in the background. That's kind of cool. Thank you. Please come again. So that's the... We go in here. It just opens that. And this is the door to the Blacksmith. You know what would be cool? If we had like a mini-map. That's what we're missing. 
We need a mini map. Man, this reminds me of those old school games. I'm sorry, you're not allowed to leave town. Oh, humbug. What the hell? Come on, something, something. Did we, we, okay, we went back into, is this the same guy? I think so. We made a circle. I was always good at getting lost in these games. If all else fails, use fire. Thanks for that. What is this? What is going on? Is that the next stage or something? I just got teleported into a new area. What is going on, man? Oh no, well, there's a door there. Okay. Oh, now there's a battle. Okay, what's going on? This is cool. Let's look at this. We've got uh, four party members. Looks like we have a uh, rat man, Amelia. Uh, looks like a, a gnome punky, and some human looking chronic. Uh, we're fighting a couple of spiny rats and a bird with uh, on fire. We have any spells with this guy? No, attack. Let's just go rat A. We have somebody who can heal, but we're going to focus fire on Rat A. And we're not going to throw fire on the fire bat. That seems pointless, but we will throw fire on the regular rat and see if we can take a rat down. Boom. Got him. I think we should all just physically attack him. Oh, command remember. Right. So it did fire. Didn't need to do that. You found basement map. Oh, we do get a map! That's awesome. Okay. I like that combat system. It was pretty fun. It was different. So it's just a dead end here. Also, it's weird how, like, it kind of looks like there's, you know, the, you know, the shading's off a bit. I don't, I, you know, I can understand there's limitations. But you get to it and you kind of think you can go around it from looking at it from a far enough away. It's just a dead end appears. This kind of sounds like Final Fantasy X-2 music. Is that what I'm hearing? And the bat swarm's pretty hard. I like the animation on fire, it looks really cool. And heal. Oh look, the card gets tore up as they get more damaged. That's kind of cool. We got a level up there. Did that put us through a door here. Another dead end. How come it doesn't like update on the map where I, I like I'm moving around, but the map doesn't show it's updating. It's a pit. You can't cross it.
Can I run? I can. It's a pit that you can't cross. What about over here? You found a treasure chest! A key, a potion, and an antidote. Got him! Level 3. We got Spark. Why no effort into changing the names of the skills? Just name it Bolt. Something. Dog, man. Alright, so Spark, AoE. Nice. Got him. Man, he does so much damage. He's my favorite character. I'm gonna call him Rikita Thesisis. I think that's uh, appropriate for a rat man's name. Rikita Thesisis. Blast them. Just clear them. Man, all we gotta do is get some uh, MP juice for that guy to keep him just taking out waves of enemies. What? Another dead end? Problem is, you just get lost. It's kind of uh, hard to keep track where you've been, what you're doing, where you're going. The battle system is kind of fun though. What's this door? Oh, this is the town. Welcome to the inn. Yes, let's stay for the night. Dun -dun. I bet you'll memorize some of the, the maps. We'll save our progress. Boom. Okay, let's go see if we can buy some upgrades. Do -do 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 See, I don't like how it doesn't update the map. I wish the white dot would move around as you move around on the map. We can get a staff. But these aren't really upgrades, are they? No. Shields are upgrades. And we don't have enough, anyway. Okay, so I gotta find my way back into the dungeon. We, oh, we already did the end. No, we good, we good. We good, we good. Um, Alright. See, it's the white dot starts to move with you as you move. But sometimes it gets frozen and just gets stuck. With the white dot, you can just kind of look at the mini-map and move around kind of freely, and it's easy. But when that white dot gets stuck, you kind of get lost. This is just the dead end, isn't it? Yeah. It's the dead end. Okay. Nope. Nope. Darn it. Uh, just guard? Guard. Spark. Guard. I wish there would have been more, um... I don't know. Like, the combat isn't been balanced right, you know what I mean? Like, that's... Spark is too strong, right? The other guy should have a skill. They should all have at least one skill at the beginning. Just one skill. And then as they level, they all get new skills. This has got to be it, right? See, look, now we're in like a different room or something. 
and there's no map for this room so we're walking around this room and kind of like you're you're guessing and you're in the you're blind and you don't know if there's a pit there you can't but you can't see that there's no real there's no in, there's no like I'm done I'm done playing this game I think it has a lot of really cool features to it I think the battle system is, is really cool but it's not balanced right it's got um, you know it's got the foundation of a really really cool game but I don't think a month is long enough to put together this project I hope to see this project continue to be worked on after this competition or contest so that it can actually become a really cool uh, polished game because I want to play this again but I don't think it's ready Anyway, so we'll guard, we'll guard, we'll magic, spark, that kills them all, you know, it's not really balanced. So there's, there's no challenge in that, but I, that's not really what I'm complaining about, like, because the game, sh the battle system should be uh, kind of easy at the beginning, so the fact that it's easy is not a big problem right now. The fact that I kind of get lost and... And when you enter another room, um, like, okay, so, I'll, let me use my mouse. This takes you back to the town. This takes you to a dead end. And this takes you to a room with no map. So, it's got to be something in here. But every time I go in there, I walk around and it's a dead end. And and I get lost and, and uh, nothing really happens. So, let's try to, I'll give it one more shot. If I can... gonna escape so I mean it's got to be this room because this is uh, I keep backtracking okay so look now we're in a new room it still shows the previous map it's the door here so we've got a door a wall a wall so it's kind of like we come to the door and there's only one direction you can go there's a door here so you have to go left. I'm just going to take every left. And eventually, I'm going to circle the whole room. Take left at every option, and you're going to circle the whole room. Same thing for right. This is a methodical way of clearing a room like this when you're searching for secrets. Did not mean to hit formation. Wait! Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Did not mean to hit formation, but... Oh, I can only do that once per round. Next fight, I'm going to take a look at that. We got more party members. I didn't even notice we had. Okay. Sometimes accidents lead to learning new things. Mistakes are how you learn. Okay, so following with that. Okay, we can't cross that pit. The invisible, Another invisible pit. Another invisible pit. Taking left at every option. Okay, that's the pit, right? So there's the... And look, it leads you to this point. And we found a treasure chest here. This treasure chest gave us a key. So we got the key out of here, right? I remember finding the key here. So what do you do with that key? Do you go back to the town? Maybe that's the one thing I didn't... I didn't check every place in town after finding that key. So process of elimination. Now I've just got to get my way out of this uh, mapless room. Here we go. And that puts us back here. I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, formation. Check it out. We have two. Uh, let's change it up. Um, let's change. Let's change Punky. No, Punky's a healer. We're going to change Kronak with Shambhala. And uh, Amelia with Barlag. To see what they look like. So Shambhala has Circle of Life. Okay, I take this. I see what you're doing here. Uh, description would be cool. Also, I despise that icon set. The default MV1. Double slash. We got to see some new stuff, I guess. Um, up, 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 
So let's explore. Uh, let's re-explore everything in town after we've got the key. Oh, we're just gonna run out of run away from this one. We might have a. How much gold do we have? Does it say our money? We got the key. Normal key. Can we eat it? No. We have a potion antidote. Key item a basement have good. Um, does it show our money anywhere? Does it? Oh yeah, it does at the top. 199. Okay. Now we're back in town. We don't have a map of the town. That's another thing. So we do have a key. So let's explore. If there was any locked rooms. Welcome, my friend. Need a potion? Cool. But you need to customize those a bit more. The skills and the items. Customize those. Change the icon. Change the font. This game can be improved so many ways. But I really like what it's uh, what it's done so far. So we're still not allowed to leave the town through that way. So there's something else I'm missing. But that's where I'm going to end my first impressions. I think it's a really cool game. But it does need some work. It, it needs... You know, a good level of, of polish to be to be spackled onto it. But I think it's really cool. I love the idea of uh, taking like this first person old school RPG kind of uh, ribbon it missed kind of thing without the clicky puzzle ish. Uh, uh, no, it's more like a might and magic kind of like an old one, right? Like where you have like that first person view. Even on SNES, they had a couple of titles that were this kind of fact. You know, like you see first person and you walk around tile by tile and you interact with things by walking into this the the tile and, and whatnot but anyway I, it's a it's a classic idea and I like to see it classic ideas put into uh, more modern engines so I really like to see that this exists exists congratulations on getting your project out into the contest congratulations to everybody who got a uh, project out into the contest let me know what games you would like me to, to play I do get some co uh, comments yesterday and today about some games so I will get to the your guys's comments on what games to play for tomorrow and hopefully tomorrow I have a new mixer so I might have a whole new setup maybe better audio uh, sound quality hopefully we'll see if it even all works together but anyway, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these first impressions videos. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I got lots of first impressions videos, RPG Maker tutorials, uh, Game Maker Studio tutorials, all different different playlists. Check check those out if you are interested. I have the website up if you want some more tutorials and stuff on there. Um, yeah, resources are there. I have a, a, a Patreon. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. You guys are awesome. I love your gener generosity so much. I love you guys for your generosity so much. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Plug this, plug that. So many things to plug. At least I do it at the end of the video, right? Some people are like, hey, welcome to the video. Remember to subscribe and like. I'm like, why am I going to subscribe and like? I don't know who you are. You haven't given me a reason to like. You know, put your stuff at the end of the video. That's how I see it anyway. Bye-bye.